as that creosote is coming up, you know, through the flute, it's getting caught in here and through the through the what? Through the flute. 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 Not flute. Flute, like a musical instrument. No, not like a musical instrument. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Well, we are just a, a few days away here from Christmas right now, and unfortunately, it's starting to get really, really cold. We've had several frosts come through now, and our fireplace, which is our main heat source, isn't working. So we might become crouch sickles, but we're gonna take you through some of the problem solving things we're doing to try to fix it, and let's see if any of it actually works. Came out here to check the uh, chimney. Got distracted by the leaf blower, but. See that. So we've been having some issues with the chimney. Actually, we've been having issues with the fireplace. I think the problem might be up there. So I'm gonna go investigate right now because for whatever reason, I'm not getting a good draft through the chimney and the smoke is coming back down and into the house. So we're gonna go investigate the chimney cap right now. Don't die. House oh, rules. Oh, there's a cat up here. Is there? All right, so oh, Mike is behind me on the roof. Wave to the people, Mike. Dude. Yeah. Totally oh, okay, so that's the problem. Your face is the problem. Oh, your face is the problem, <laughs> Missy. You think it comes off? Hopefully. Don't break it. Guys, yeah, make a little puppy noise. Well, it seems like it's coming off. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> wow. It, it's like clog, clog, huh? Clog, clog. But you'll see into the house. I feel like I should have sent him, him up there with a camera, too. It's not too bad. That part's not too bad? No, this part's actually all right. Okay. This is crazy. I'm going to bring it down. Okay. We'll take a look. We'll clean it down there. Just, just jump. I'll catch you. <laughs> Come you on. Catch me if I jump? No. I'm gonna go over to the ladder. That's probably good. Frankie, go hold the ladder for daddy. All right, here's what we're dealing with. Look at that. Oh yeah. You should be able to see all the way through that. Yeah, that's uh, the opposite of that. Wow, that's so clogged. Wow. Look at that. Oh wow. Well, yeah, that explains why the house is filling up with smoke every time we tried to make a fire. It's it was like, bad. yeah. Well, that's good. Hey if Frankie, that's the can you problem. go find me a pair of gloves? Will the shop back suck it out once you loosen it? I don't need to. It'll just come out the side or the top. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Jeez, no wonder. It's black like your soul. I just like the fact that this proves he is capable of cleaning. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's your dinner. Right there. That's all you get. Hey, Actually, what? No, we're having breakfast for dinner tonight. Aren't we, Michael? If your stove can't breathe, then neither can you inside your house. That we learned. Right. <laughs> it literally, I guess I should have filmed when the smoke was coming in because it was like, it smoked up the whole house. It smells like a campfire in there. So I have candles going right now to get rid of the smoky smell. We had all the doors and windows open, the skylights open to try to get the smoke out. We had fans blowing the smoke out the thing. It was bad. I told him, I was like, are you sure you Googled it? Like YouTube did to see if there's anybody else that had this problem. And then he Googled it slightly differently with the phrase smoke coming out of the chimney pipe like, into the house. And this is when he found this solution. And sure enough, this is definitely the problem. I mean, look at that. Well, what's interesting is I went inside and I took the bottom off of the flute because it comes out of the stove and goes over into the garage. And then it turns up and underneath there's a cap that you can take off. I took that cap off with a bucket underneath of it and I got like maybe like this much creosote out of the bottom, which isn't that much really. Uh, and then I shined my light up and I looked inside and the flute looked pretty good. So I was like, well, the flute's not the problem, but I never considered the fact that as that creosote's coming up, you know, through the flute, it's getting caught in here. And through the, through the what? Through the flute. Flu. Flu. Not flute. Flute, like a musical instrument. No, not like a musical instrument. Does this go in the garden? No. no. This, believe it or not, 
this crease feel it no you don't want to feel that it's nah. really gooey right. this I stuff right here it looks is... like when you make oreo cookie crumb like pie when you make the, oh, the yeah. pie crust that's what it looks like this is stuff that didn't didn't completely burn during the secondary burn in the stove and it went up the flue and this stuff is like totally flammable like oh. this stuff is how chimney fires happen oh so that's why i was all concerned about hey you know let's make sure the the flue's clean but never considered this cap right here was collecting it so with that cap now pretty clean so this mean i can cancel the chimney sweep coming out uh, since, sure works, since you just dick van diked it yourself well i mean it's not going to hurt to to clean the flu the flu doesn't look very bad we cleaned it last year all this creosote is literally we did have a lot of green wood since like last year wood, yeah we had that whole cord of eucalyptus eucalyptus that wasn't very uh very seasoned yeah i remember it was hard to get it lit it's seasoned now though should be yeah we don't have any we don't have any wood that's not a year old right now Okay, we're gonna go put it back on and see if we can start a fire. So Mike is now getting back on the roof right now to go put that cap back on the chimney. She's taking out the junk, the gunk, the creosol, see, whatever. I know, it's super clogged. And he is putting the cap back on. Ooh, there we go, putting the cap back on right now. And then we're gonna go inside and try to start a fire. And hopefully, now that will have solved it and we will actually be able to have fires now this next week which is great news because it's supposed to be cold and rainy and nasty and i was not looking forward to wearing parkas in the house so this is exciting guys <laughs> if this fixes it we win the universe i don't think you win the universe well, it's gonna breathe let it breathe so we're attempting to make the fire if you order online from companies that say that they use recycled paper for uh, for their packaging, you'll never have a shortage of paper to start your fire with. Did you use one of my fire starters too? No. exciting this is you guys that this is the house is not filling up with smoke we're gonna be able to have nice warm fires through this next week of really bad weather that we're supposed to have this is good news thank goodness for YouTube University right and being able to find that totally. um, because we would have been struggle busting it this week because everything else so far that we would looked up wasn't working so this is very fantastic news it means we can have a merry and warm Christmas Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications.